Hey bosses, it's Nina, and I'm here with a new little treat for you. So um, Stencil reached out to me, or the folks at Stencil reached out to me to see if I wanted to review their graphic design tool. And I took a look at it and I absolutely love it. So today what I'm gonna do, instead of just doing a quick review, I'm actually gonna do a tutorial on um, how to create quick graphics. So um, with social media, I know it takes a while to create graphics. And the thing I like the most about this tool is that you can create graphics really, really quick, like quotes and images and memes and things like that. So I'm just gonna go over a couple of things then we're gonna jump right into it. Um, a few things that I love is that it has a ton of backgrounds, but you can also pull them directly from the internet and right click, click a button and instantly start creating a graphic. Um, I also like that you can click one button and it automatically changes the size of the graphics. And the last thing I love is that you can upload your own fonts, yeah. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so when you start in Stencil, I'm just gonna go over, actually I'm gonna go over the whole kind of outline um, quickly and then we'll get into creating images. Um, you have the backgrounds of images, so you can search over a million photos. I did find some kind of um, up-to-date images like Obama, things like that, but I couldn't find things like Beyonce. So um, there are a lot of images up here. Um, you can upload your own images, of course, and then there's favorites. So as you go through, you can mark some as favorites. I'm just gonna mark a couple as favorites. So there's also um, ones that if you use them frequently, they're there. So that's for the background of the images. There's also icons. There's tons of icons that you can search through. And then there's templates. So I'm gonna be honest here. The templates aren't my favorite, sorry stencil, but they're pretty good um, to start out with. But um, looking at comparable products, it's okay. Um, the What I really love is more of what you can do with the quotes and pulling things from the internet. So here you'll see, oh, and I do like that it kind of stays at the place you were. Um, if you notice, I had Maya Angelou in there and it automatically brought that back up. So anytime I log in, it goes back to where I was working. So there's feature quotes, but I can also look at different type of business quotes, humor, leadership. So it's really a curation tool, which I love. Or if you have your favorites, I've marked a couple um, from Maya Angelou and we'll use that for the tutorial today. There's also your own logos and watermarks. I'm not gonna use that today, but just know that you can upload your logos and add them um, quickly. And then there's saved images. These are images that I've had earlier. Um, notice that you can save them, but you can also post them directly to social media. Yay! So um, I love that it gives you a preview. I just created this right before I started. Okay, and then also you can post it to any of your social media. If you use Buffer, it's also connected to Buffer, or if you start in Buffer, this is the editor that they're using. You could also send out a link directly to um, your stencil item, which I would not suggest doing. Um, if you're gonna do that, just download it and upload it to your website. Um, down here are some tutorials in the little question mark area, and there's a little welcome tour. I didn't do it, but I'm sure that um, it's cool. <laughs> um, down here is where you save, so you can save it as a template, love that, or just save it, which saves it over into your saved images. You can download images, and that's where you also, um, on your right-hand side, preview and share, is where you share it to social media. Top right-hand corner, you'll notice that there's settings here. The, the two things that I suggest that you do, um, we're not gonna go over fonts today, but import your fonts. Um, so you have your branding just cohesive and just the same fonts, basically. Um, and one of the things that I noticed is that you can import Google fonts. So um, yeah, if you have Google fonts that you're using, you can actually just add them to the app by just clicking on it. So you can search and then add it. Okay, it says something went wrong, but it actually does load it. Um, other things that you can do is under the extras, this is the second thing I suggest you do immediately because this is the the my favorite part of the app, is install the Google Chrome app um, or add-in. 
or Firefox if you use that. That's what I'm going to be concentrating on today. And that's what helps me kind of get through quick and dirty um, quotes and images. Okay, we're not going to go through the rest of this. Let's actually get started. And I'm actually not going to start in the app. So I'm going to do a search for Maya Angelou. I'm going to go to images and I'm going to find some images of her that I love. Okay, so let's start with this one. Okay. Because I have the Chrome add-in, I can right click and choose open with stencil and it goes directly into the app. How cool is that? Okay, so it's gonna upload. Okay, now I have this new image here. So notice that it's, uh, this isn't like a square. So um, down here, you can actually change. And one thing I didn't notice when I first started is there's different items here. So. I can start with just a post. And so let's start with a Facebook post. I just clicked on set. And notice there's Facebook, Google Plus, blog post. Under ads, if you do use the Google ads, um, you know, you could only have so much text. You can actually turn on the Facebook ad grid on your right hand side to make sure um, you don't go over your text allowance. If you don't use ads, that doesn't make sense. Don't worry about it. Okay, so we have the image here that we pulled from the internet and now we just wanna add text, right? So I can add text here, okay? And just type it in or I can actually, oops. No, I do not want, let me close, click on that and click on delete. Or I can actually go to quotes and type in Maya Angelou, okay? And I'm just gonna click on one of her quotes over here. Again, these are my favorites, that's why they're coming up first. I did find there's a lot of negative quotes in here, which is weird, just on everyone. Obama is everything. That's kind of weird, but let's keep it going. So I can either move this to the side, so I'm just using the little dots to resize it, okay? And put this underneath. Or if I liked it, and we're not going to do this, but I want to show you this. Um, if I stretch it like this, notice the little bar over here. I can um, select a background image, or excuse me, color. Maybe I want to make it blue or white. Once you do that, you can make it full width. Okay, so that's the background. If I click on it again, I can make the background transparent, right? That's one way that I can work with this and everything's independent. So even though her name's down here, I can take that and move it up. Since I can't see it, I'll just click on here. Oops, click on the text and I'll move this back. So this one comes to the front. Okay, so that was just in a few steps and this actually doesn't look good, but um, I would move it down a little probably. Okay, but in a few steps, I was able to create a um, meme or a quote. So I'm, I can change the text size so it automatically resizes, right? I can do an outline color. I would not do that here, but I'm gonna show you this anyway. I can do an outline color on the text. To remove it, I can just click on the X there. Okay, there's all kinds of other options here that you can use, but for now, I'm gonna actually show you how I would like to do this. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna remove the full width. Okay, and remove the background color. And I'm just gonna put this on the side here. Okay. And I can increase the text size to make it larger. Okay. And there's two ways I could make this stand out. Okay. I can click on the actual image. Notice there's feet 
filter, excuse me, so I can make it black and white, change the different filters, okay? None of which look good with this one, so I'm gonna go back. No filter, okay? Um, another thing you could do is you can blur it a little bit. Transparent just makes it a little hazy, so I would probably do something like this. If you have specific colors that you're using, um, I'm gonna use green just because she has green kind of in the background there. Okay, I'm gonna use a green color. You can make an overlay. You don't have to create another shape to do an overlay. Okay, you can kind of work on that, lighten it a little bit. Notice you can flip the image. Okay. I'm gonna remove the overlay. So that's another way you can do it. Another thing you could do is there are shapes. So we have this here. I can go on to the left-hand side. Now this is a square. I can't remember if I could, yeah, I can resize a square. So this is a square. I'm gonna move it to the back by clicking on move back. Um, and this is just to move it behind the text. I'm also gonna change the color to, let's do like a light. It's weird, I want a green color, but I'm gonna make it transparent. So I can do that. I think I have to go back one more step. There you go. So you can do that, maybe make the text white, or you can take the transparency off altogether. Change the text to white. And I really would use another font. So notice the font is at the top here. Make this white. Okay. So that was just a couple of seconds and I did a lot of explaining in between, but the point is I can pull my quotes directly from here, pull my images directly from the internet, and then just kind of play around with it. And then when I change it, I can actually change and make this, so I haven't tried this out, so let's see, a Facebook cover, and I can move her picture around a little bit. And you could move left and right, this isn't big enough. And I'll make the text a little bit smaller. Okay, you can also change it to custom sizes. Let's make a blog post. Okay, so that's one way to kind of curate content. You get an image, you find the quote in here, and then um, you post it on social media. So I'll just click on here, find the post, uh, excuse me, the social media platform, connect it and post. Or, I can find a quote that I want, so I'm just gonna search for Michelle Obama quotes, okay? So I'm gonna take this and highlight it, right click it, and this time I'm gonna open with Sensel. And so it's gonna start with the text, okay? And I am gonna search for Michelle Obama. Click on it once and it adds the background in the back. Notice that now I can move it around. Okay. And maybe I'll have it up here and I'll take this. All right, so I'm gonna leave a link in the comments below. Go ahead and click the link. I do get a little bit of credit, but um, let me know what you think. They do have a free version. So make sure and create a couple graphics. If you're in the Pink Boss Club, go ahead and create a couple graphics and then post it in the Pink Boss Club and let me know what you think. Compare it to a couple of other apps. Do you like it? Is it easy for you? Um, let me know. All right, ciao. Hey, Nina again. So did you like that video? All you have to do to see more videos like that is one, like that video and then subscribe to my channel and then you'll be notified as I get more tutorials. Or if you'd like to ask about me doing a tutorial, 
go ahead and leave the comments in the box below and I'll respond and let you know if we're gonna add it to our list. Also, don't forget that I'm here every Wednesday at 10, 10 p.m. Eastern answering questions. But again, don't forget, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. See you soon.